Hey all, Dekumon here and welcome back to Control AWE. Last time, we took on Hartman once again, this time in the Eagle Limited AWE. And you guys are really cool. You handed me quite a number of things I need to clean up here before I move on to the next zone. First off, apparently, there's a new weapon form that I have not been paying any attention to. Surge. Surge fires adhesive munitions that detonate when manually triggered or if their timer expires? <laughs> oh, and it's upgradable. And I need some more shaded facets to get its third mod, but that's okay. Got two out of three right off the bat. Oh, I can't wait to see what this insanity looks like. All right. Sorry, Shatter, but uh, we're going to try out the new toy, Surge. All right, now what are we gonna put on you? Damage against armor, it's always good. What do we got? Ammo cost while levitating. Ammo recovery on taking damage, it's explosives. More armor damage. Evasion down, no. Reload speed. I think reload speed actually might be pretty useful on this thing. All right. Press R2 to fire a single adhesive grenade. Press R2 uh, to detonate that grenade. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Okay. 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 I like this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, we're going to have fun with this. Uh, the next thing you guys pointed out is that I was super, super close to discovering a hidden puzzle. And it was back in that twisted corridor, so we're gonna go back that way and take a look and see if I can't actually find it. The hell? Oh, hell no. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, this is, this is great. This is great. I like this weapon. <laughs> oh, I like this weapon. All right, now where... Oh, where was that breakable wall from earlier? Here we are. Oh, the hell did I miss this? Blind as a flipping bat, guys. Blind as a bat. Oh, how did I miss you? I seriously, my goodness. Look at this. Hidden location discovered. Okay. It's a clock. Uh. Okay. Um, apparently I need some information on this. What am I supposed to do about this? Do I just stop it at the right spot? Okay, maybe that was the wrong spot. Ah, I see. If I press square again, it stops. Hmm. It's noon. Oh. Apparently one o'clock does something. What about two o'clock? Or three o'clock? Huh. Okay. I hate to do this, but I think I may need to look this one up. Okay, guys. I'm gonna be honest, I don't think I'd ever figured this out if I didn't look it up or just go through like an hour of trial and error, but you actually have to do this in a very specific order. And if you don't, this thing just doesn't do anything. So the order is 177, 16497. So I'm gonna punch that in and we'll see what happens. All right, we're coming up on the last one here. Got to time it just right. Nice. Oh. I see you. Uh. That's a hole. Oh, boy. Well, nothing ventured, nothing, nothing gained. Down we go. Oh, shit. Whoa. Uh, hi. 
Oh. Okay, okay, no, no, no. As much as I like the new toy, I don't know if I could risk it dealing with all of these. Oh, Jesus. Too many of you guys. Oh, I'm, I might die right here. Shields are already starting to come back. Oh, Jesus. Yes. Yes. Return to your true master. Serve the director once more. Oh, Jesus. He got lit up. Oh, hi, guys. Oh, this is not gonna be an easy room. Die! Die, you bastards! Even better! Work for me! Hey! I said work for me, not dive at me. Oh, hi, big guy. <sighs> Need all the assistance I can get. Oh, especially considering I just lost one. Oh, there's an elevated in here. I wonder how this does on you, good sir. Eh, not too bad. Harder on my own guys. Oh, yes! Yes! There we go. Now we have some firepower to work with. Uh, They're not going after anybody. Guys, there's nobody else here? Hello? Did I run out of hiss to murder already? What's with the glow? What's the, oh. The motel. Eh? Oh, hello. Bye, guys. <laughs> Good old Ocean View Motel. Let me guess, locked? Of course. What about this one? Also. <laughs> I just got 600 points for the guy dying. Oh, goodness me. Oh, right. Ring the bell. Ring the bell? No ring the bell. Uh, thank you for the room key. Personal mod aerobics. Uh, health recovery on evade. This one's gold. I mean, that sounds fucking awesome. Health recovery on evade. Yeah, please. Like, that just sounds disgusting. I cannot sit here and go wrong with that, can I? Uh, I should clear out a few of these older ones, however. Alright. Just to make some space. <laughs> no! No, I will not go to maintenance! I refuse! The Valhalla Nursing Home. Hmm? Founded in 2014 for Odin and Tor Anderson for their twilight years. Okay, let's, uh, let's hear the whole thing here. The Valhalla Nursing Home. Founded in 2014 for Odin and Tor Anderson of the old gods of Asgard fame. Wow. Years. Built after the return comeback tour. Flip-flop to be their farewell tour. Oh, so, right. Canceled. The, uh, the rocker the guys. Their agent, Barry Wheeler. Wheeler had managed to coax a couple of hit songs out of them before that. Balance Lays the Demon. A couple of others. Three massive stadium-sized gigs. The old men rocked like they were possessed by the devil. Like their namesakes. The backstage parties got out of hand. The air was thick with smoke. Wheeler squinted. His migraine flared. Booze and drugs, a rock and roll cliche. They ran off after every gig. Wheeler had security track them down to the craziest after parties. The Andersons were so old. Vampires, 
princes of fucking darkness. <laughs> After every gig and the rampaging party that followed, it took them weeks to bounce back. And they never did completely. Each time, Wheeler expected them to croak. It was that bad. After the third gig, Wheeler couldn't take it anymore. Couldn't stomach the idea of another client dropping dead on him. Wheeler canceled. Called it off. It was over. After the old guy oh, shit. Back to <sighs> Doing this thing again, huh? Wheeler set up a foundation with the money from the record sales of the Greatest Hits album. And the gigs. A lot of money. Wheeler was good at his job. Wheeler set up the nursing home facility. The old men deserved it. I see this old bug still exists where if I'm sitting on the hotline screens for too long, I end up back here looking at good old Jesse. Huh. Well, that was a nice little tidbit. Okay, what do we got here? Back we go. And a two. And a three. Huh. Ah, back here before the clock puzzle. Uh, wow. That was a cool little tidbit and an awesome prize. Okay, this was definitely worth the trip. Yep, I get a smidgen of health back on evasion. Just a smidgen. Yeah, I'm watching it go. It's like, it ain't much. But hey, might mean the difference between life and death in some fight. Ah, right. This was the other thing you guys suggested I do, which was let Langston finish. Uh, supposedly his dialogue will change the next time I come through here if I actually let him just finish out his statements. So, hopefully uh, he'll finish it as I work my way through here. Right. Oh. Alright, uh, I guess I still, uh, I need to... Is he gonna keep talking as I go over here towards the Framudo AWE? No? Ah, shoot. Ah, well, I guess I will miss out on, uh, Langstrom's amazing conversational skills. Unless he starts yapping while I'm here in the elevator. Yeah, okay. But anyway... Still, I don't know why people are... Alright, we'll let him finish this out. I'll wait in the elevator here. The teams in research handle paranatural materials every day, and no one thinks they're weird. Well, maybe that's not true. Darling is famous for being a bit out there, but when he's weird, it's charming. Altered items really aren't that frightening once you get to know them. <laughs> if you figure out what they like or don't like, you know, what sets them off, then there's nothing to worry about. I guess at the end of the day, we're still just wild animals scared of our own shadows. We're supposed to be on the same team, but sometimes it feels like it's every department for themselves, like it's a race and we're all trying to be number one. If it is a race though, I'd say Darling is a mile ahead of everyone else. He was Trench's golden boy for years, but that relationship has gotten pretty tense, or so I've heard through the grapevine. Not that I spread rumors, just, you know, People talk. Not me, though. I keep my nose to the grind. Too much work to do to focus on those kinds of things. I need to stay focused so I can get my work done and get home to feed Alfred. My course, goodness, man. I can always make it home for me. Alfred, so <laughs> yes, he is. To check in on Alfred at 7 oh o'clock. I'm not back yet. She's very nice. Her name is Maria. She's older. She came to New York in the 50s to attend school and has been here ever since. She has a couple of kids. I met them at Thanksgiving. Big family. Very nice people. Anyway, she has a key to my apartment. Oh my god, she does he ever shut up? If I'm not home, I'm going to have to buy her a nice fruit arrangement to thank you after this. I'm missing a lot of Alfred's meal time. She's probably going to have to go to the store for more wet food. <laughs> I have to remember to pay her back. <sighs> Hold on, let me make a note. Pay back. Oh my god. Maria. Shut up. Oh, okay, I can hit myself. Alfred. Okay, good to know. Food. Okay. Oh, one more thing. And Jeez. Sit here and try and evade my health back up while I'm waiting for Langston to shut up. My god, dude. All right. Done. Are you a cat person? I don't think I ever asked. You seem like one though. You like Alfred? He's very proper. Oh my really goodness. Really carries himself well, you know? I named him after my favorite poet. Felt like a good fit. Alfred Hitchcock, really? Alfred just before Sylvia died when I was at the... Oh, you know, I don't really remember where I got Alfred. 
But boy, those two did <sighs> not get along. Oh, oh, oh no no no. Sylvia thought oh my she God. owned the place. Didn't like me getting in her way. Scratched me more than once when I was just trying to move her food. <laughs> that cat was God, he's still ass. going. I'm realizing now that that That's language is not <laughs> um, professional. You see, Sylvia didn't tolerate most people. Or animals. Or anything. And that's what I meant when I said asshole. I would never use that word about a person. It was just, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> hey, there's a light flashing on the console here. I gotta, uh, check this out. I'll get back to you later. Real smooth, Langston. Yeah, nice dodge there. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow, he, uh, he just goes on forever, don't he? All right, let's go. Oh, hi. Seven. Kinda, kinda wimpy compared to everything else that's been in here, dude. Oh yeah, that, that chunk shields. That chunk's shields, good, with that armor breaker. Oh, hi. I will evade the shit out of you. Thank you. Goodbye. Huh. What the hell was he doing in the bathroom? <laughs> There's a chest hiding back here. Lovely. Uh, okay. That's darkness. And that's not what I wanted to pick up. Give me that. Oh, there's multiple darknesses here. <sighs> Alright, so my map says I have two possible ways to go. I could go left or right. Now, right... Uh... Right looks like it comes out that way, so left is actually the only way I can go. So right is the way we shall go. You know what? Go that way catch up to you yeah yeah beep beep I'm looking to make sure there's no documents around here you know you got to be careful with these sort of things or you'll miss stuff I miss off all the time in this game and everybody gives me crap for it because I keep missing stuff and my response is of course I miss stuff oh oh there's more spoo in here okay okay where's my light oh hi guys See, this is what I was expecting earlier. Nines. What's with the random sevens that were in here earlier? Also, uh, I have a graphical glitch on my screen. I have a serious graphical glitch on my screen. <laughs> I'm not sure what to do about that. Oh. Oh, there's multiples of you. We can't have that. Blow up, guys. Blow up. Okay, uh... If I do this, will it clear that graphical glitch? Yes, yes it does. Awesome. That is important. Hey! Stop that. <laughs> eh, it's still fun to knock the chiplets out of these guys. Hello. Uh... Have we here? Paperwork? Arcade cabinet procedures? Oh, the Shoom games! Yay! I love the Shoom games. <laughs> Containment procedure. A distance of 10 feet between the items suppresses their effect. Effect only triggers on physical contact. Items are a pair of arcade game cabinets originally designed for the games Shoom and Shoom 2, Kogar's Revenge. The games were manufactured by Bonko Entertainment, now out of business. Despite being a popular arcade game in Japan during the late 80s, early 90s, no other Shum cabinets have been found by our investigators. When touching one of these items while it stands within 10 feet of its counterpart, the user's mind is transported to a version of their subjective reality that resembles a video game in logic and function. Events from their everyday lives become game-like sequences in which speed and efficiency are paramount. 
The brain enters a stroke-like state, Oh, as proven by EEG studies on users, which only ends after the user finishes their game, at which point they resume normal brain and motor functions. Ooh. Or does that mean if you die in the game, you die in real life? <laughs> Never know. Okay, let's take this and go clear out that darkness. Where was it? I saw darkness, there's some darkness. Burn darkness! Oh. Darkness blocking a power cell. All right, go over there while I get the power cell out of here. I said get the power, get the power cell out of here. Come on, there you go. Gotta work with me, Jesse. Oh. Oh, there's some skanky dunk shit here. There we go, now it fits. Aha! Power switch. Ah. <laughs> the elevator. I had to open up the elevator. Uh, oh, I was gonna say, oh, hidden location discovered. I got ability point. And that should be eight. Oh. Hi! Hi there! Oh, Jesus. Uh, excuse me, Dr. Hartman. You are not looking too good there. <laughs> oh, that spooked me, but... Oh. Oh, this is not good. Can I go back? I kind of want that light. Seriously, where'd that lights thing go? what I do with it? I want it back. Where is it? What happened to it? Did I lose it? It's gone, isn't it? Son of a bitch. Oh, there you are. Yeah, I'm taking this with me. There's too much dark skunk down there. See it? It's everywhere. It's every... It broke the light. The darkness broke the light. Oh, crap. Uh, I mean, I get the idea. The game's like, no, you can't take these between areas. What are you thinking, man? Hmm. What am I looking at here? What's the play here, game? Okay, obviously I need a light source. Hmm? What's up, Polaris? Is that a control point? It is. It is a control point. Awesome! Because now I have enough ability points to buy the thing I want. Multi-launch. God. Hold, hold and launch up to three objects. Energy now recovers while holding launch objects. That's the part that made that so worthwhile. Ah, uh, what about this? Can I got enough yet? No. I only need two more shaded facets. When using launch, press L2 to carry additional objects. Hmm? Oh. <laughs> oh, that is good stuff. Hmm. Methinks this should solve at least one of my dark problems. Come here, you. Right? Damn it. Can I move this? Can I redirect this at all? 
no. And with more, that comes off. Okay. Aha! I see. So this... controls that. Alright, I see where this puzzle's going. So, the moment I pull this thing off, that's where this thing stops. And that should deal with the darkness around that chest. Very nice. Hey look, a shaded facet. I don't need that many more of those. Okay, now, more importantly, I need this sucker in here, which means I need to get that light over here that. Plug this in. And press the go button. I have a sneaking suspicion this is just going to stop in the right spot. But, uh... Keeping an eye on it just in case. There we go. No, I actually had to stop it. Slam dunk! There you go! Burn the stanky gunk away! And, yep! That one locked in. Hello. Uh... There are offices up there. I don't think I can get into said offices. Right? Oh no, I was already in there. That's where the elevator was. Okay. No. Uh. Map says there's stuff below me, though. Hmm. Ah. Well, I do appear to be heading in a downward direction. And the game is nice enough to give me a light. Gonna need this. Oh shit. The way is blocked. Lower access. Oh shit, my light just broke. And there goes all my superpowers. Escape the darkened corridor. I see. This is a matter of survival. Hello, obviously breakable wall. Ah, <laughs> uh, hello, portable C4 charge. Oh shit. I see. I'm gonna lose darkness as I move. No, you don't, Hartman. No, you don't. <laughs> oh, oh, you bitch. You laughing at me? You laughing at me? Okay, I got a power core. Now, where do you go? Does it go, George? Which way does it go? Oh, might go this way. It does. Lock it in, Ellie. And pour on the light. <laughs> ah, geez, that's bright. 
What's the matter, dude? Too bright for you? <laughs> uh, nice. Doing good. That area wasn't too bad. Oh. There's an up here. Does the up have stuff for me? Ah, no, the up is the way to go. <laughs> Jeez, Polaris, you're kind of hard on the old control point stuff. Uh-oh. I'm seeing hisses. Smoked his ass. Let's see what we're looking at now. Bridge operator. Excuse me, sir. I'd like to lodge a complaint. <laughs> uh, I'll come back for that. Apparently, there's at least one other guy in here that I need to deal with. Yep. This multi launch thing is disgusting. Hi! <laughs> oh, it's a thing of beauty, people. It's a thing of beauty. Hello. Okay, we're gonna try this one more time and then we're done playing with you. Understand, Jello, where are you from? Jumbo Room. Up and loose and heavy treat sandwich. Jesus uh, Christ, does anyone have any idea what this thing is? Saying? Uh, hotly. Dirt Sounds like aphasia you, there. What the hell do you want? Why'd you stow away on that ship? School bearing boy boy. Eyes many cauterizing loops. Yeah, that's uh, that's aphasia did there. Did he just say Mitchell? Was there a Mitchell at NASA? Tubes. You know what? Never mind. I can't do this anymore. Just send this thing to the guys in research. Let them cut it up or whatever they do. You hear that? They're gonna cut you up, you pain in the ass. Spider time. Yep. That there is aphasia. AKA reaching for a word in the brain and you find it in a different word than you expect. Uh, it's actually a really good House MD episode on aphasia. All right, let's realign this thing. Hi. Oh, there's a cluster in here. Hi, guys. this really can't oh there's a fucking sniper in here oh oh that cluster's got to fucking go or I gotta just nail this guy to the dirt in one fell swoop hi thank you that's one way to deal with that shit. Hi, there you are, Mr. Cluster. Uh. Fuck nuggets, where'd he go? There's no way that cluster's gone. There's no way. The hell did he get off to? Oh, there's nodes. Very nice. Still didn't answer my question. Where the hell did that cluster get off to? Oh, multiple applications. Oh, fudge me. Oh yeah, hi. Uh, you want to talk about this, good sir? Didn't think so. How about this? A little recruitment drive I call work for the damn Jesse. Hi. Ow. Kind of 
recharge. I've got to recharge. Oh! The oh, damn, I got sniped. All right, I'm gonna try this again. Where the hell's that cluster at? Not getting away from me this time, you little son of a bitch. Come on. Fuck. Get back here. I need you on my team. This is what messed me up last time. I didn't get it. Oh. Oh, you little fuck dog. Yeah, you don't get to try that shit on me. Alright. This thing's on the move. I've got me a cluster. And a serious case of ch chunking these monkeys. Is there another sniper? Oh, my name is Tara. Oh, there is another sniper. Of course, the same bloody one. Hey! Excuse me! I'm a little busy right now. <sighs> Confiscative motive. That's not the thing I need. My cluster's about to run out. There we go. Come on, we gotta get this bridge in alignment. Right? Is that it? I think that's it. Uh, map does not tell me if this was it or not. That definitely doesn't help any. Shit. Uh, bridge operator? Oh, oh, I see. I was rotating the bridge to shine light on this. I see the puddle of darkness that was there. Very cool. <laughs>